Don't forget to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all our videos. Okay guys, so welcome back. And let's start with the front end of this application. So we will be having three files in our component, which will be calculator, which is going to be our parent, keyboard, which is going to be the numbers and uh, operators, and screen where we are going to display all the results and everything okay so let's go ahead and create those things in our UI first of all I'll need to create a folder which will be components okay in the components I will create new file which will be calculator this is going to be a parent and I'm I'm gonna keep it in this linear way I'm not gonna create any other folder so keyboard uh, keyboard.js and the third one will be screen.js great okay so in our app component what we need to do here is we will create calculator we'll import calculator but before that we need to create a function so react functional component okay need to do a bit of touch up i can use that function the one which i got but i like arrow functions more so i'm gonna convert it a bit cannot okay, calculator but okay this is good and I'm gonna do the same thing for keyboard because these are just boilerplate functions we need to do a lot of writing in here so keyboard and screen okay so let's see here when we import calculator okay it's gonna auto import which is great if you don't have that plugin most probably you must be aware of it but if you don't have that plugin you should download it from VS code it is somewhere here in the store yeah in the extensions okay so <coughs> we have the calculator here and we are going to import keyboard first inside of the calculator so it's not gonna be just calculator anymore will be div screen should we do it in this way or okay we can we can keep it this way calculator okay this is oh sorry this is a calculator this is a calculator itself so what we can do here is that we can I can consider this one this part as this calculator itself so the rest of the screen which you see it will be inside of the app component okay so for that reason I'm gonna name this one as class name as calculator so this will this should display as a calculator and that's the reason I have created a CSS which does the same for us. So let me import my CSS right away. App. Okay, as you can see for the app as well, I have this uh, display flex and everything. So app is the main container of our calculator. And if you see the calculator, this is a calculator. I created display flex. I've given it a specific width, box shadow and everything so you can directly use this as an outer outer styling okay so if I have this outer styling as just calc as uh, you can see it as let me make this as a on a side by side thing okay all right Great. so calculator is there in the app component we have it displayed as a calculator and for some reason I don't think we are 
seeing that and could be okay it's not importing the style and let's see what is the reason behind that this is a calculator app name is app we are importing the styles and which is an app CSS okay the reason is I haven't saved it okay so now as you can see here we have this calculator which is displayed on the screen and not this calculator but the background of the calculator and inside of calculator we are going to do a couple of things one should be the screen and the second should be keyboard okay great and you, can, you might be able to see okay so now inside of the screen component this is just a UI part so I'm just gonna copy and paste I don't want to waste your time and that's the reason I'm just gonna copy and paste the components I'll explain you what exactly it does but yeah okay so here we have the input this is going to be a prop so right now I'm gonna remove it and screen input okay we have the screen here which is good about the keyboard I'm going to copy my keyboard from my file and we will remove the not important or the dynamic parts not the not important but the something where we haven't reached yet okay so this is the keyboard I'm gonna make it bigger so you can see we don't have any on click here so I'm gonna remove all the on clicks two three four five it should be around 4 into 4 so 16 buttons okay. this is super simple I didn't just wanted to waste your time like putting up these things I'm gonna show you what exactly I have done but yeah I don't want to waste your time the last one great so we have this small thing and it's not aligned properly but we can take care of that okay so this is looking something as expected but yeah we have something over here and let me quickly take a look what exactly could be the issue here not all of them are in the same line which it should I don't know why maybe let's let's just inspect the element I'm gonna bring it to the side okay let's check what's going on okay all the sizes are oh okay so sizes are not equal as well so there must be some issue with the flex thing somewhere I didn't assign flex or it could be the thing okay these things are working correctly even I think uh, so zeroth index and the second is working good but not the other ones okay this kind of looks like working as well Okay, maybe I can dive deep into this one. Okay, okay, so there should be something in the the styling in the keyboard. Round button, round button, center me. Okay, what? Okay, this doesn't look fishy to me right now access column okay 
what is the uh, okay outside is flex one as well flex one flex one okay no problem i'm gonna take a look at this one but that's that's not a that's a trivial thing but now the thing is that we th these are all like will work as a button because we have a cursor pointer and we should we will even need a clear button so i'll go in the on the keyboard and just gonna put a keyboard button just below this one I guess or maybe it should be in the it will be in the calculator so there clear okay style or uh, not style but class name equal to clear button which I have it so this will be good I think yeah okay this is perfect so we are almost done with the styling we just need one header which will be on the top which will say that this is a calculator which we already know but yeah that's a way of doing it all right so calc header and this is perfect great so now we have the basic styling i'm gonna take care of these things but in the next video i'll show you how are we going to have or add the inputs to it and then the calculation and things will follow all right so thank you very much for watching this could be an issue see this this is a small one so yeah i'll take care of it and i'll let you know in the next video bye bye and take care